Hey friends, welcome back to my channel, Diya Vaisavi Mommy and welcome if you are new here. I am Kshitwich and I make DIYs, art, home decor and lifestyle videos here on my channel. In today's video, I am going to share two DIYs that represent the month of January and for that I am making the flower of the month which is carnation and the birthstone of the month that is garnet and I am also going to um, style the flower of this month in two different ways and I am also going to combine the two elements that is the flower and the birthstone uh, together to make a floral chandelier so let's begin with the DIY and let's see how I am going to style and create two DIYs together to make the flowers of the month of January that is carnations I took tissue paper in the color red you can take white or any color tissue paper of your choice because carnations come in a variety of colors but I really like this red color so I'm just using this I split the uh, tissue paper in to two parts and I'm going to just um, cut the edges in a zigzag pattern you can just see that I'm cutting the edges in the zigzag pattern the tissue paper here that I'm using is uh, three ply and I've just taken it uh, into two parts that is one part is just one ply and the other is two ply and this generally helps me to um, take out the uh, the thin layers of the tissue paper really nicely so you can just make it with one single ply also and you can use all the three plies also so here after, uh, after i have just uh, trimmed the zigzag pattern of the edges i'm just going to accordion fold the tissue paper like so this is also called the fan folding method and also the accordion folding method Once the entire paper is nicely folded, I'm going to uh, choose the middle portion of this fan folded paper and I'm going to just take a floral wire and just wrap it around the center portion and I'm going to twist the wire two to three times so that it is light nicely tightened and I'm going to uh, just open the layers of the tissue paper that were there on both the sides so here you can see i'm just one by one just pulling apart the layers of the tissue papers and i'm very careful that i don't tear the tissue paper After the first half is done, I'm going to repeat the same process in the second portion also. Very nicely and with the light hand, I'm going to uh, just take apart all the layers of the tissue paper to form this floral kind of structure. And this really, really looks um, just like the petals of the carnation. I'm going to fluff the flowers a little bit and then I'm going to take some floral tape in green color and I'm going to wrap the stock portion that is the wire portion with this green color tape and this is going to be the stock of the carnation flower i'm going to repeat the same process and create a lot many flowers again here you can see that my daughter gave me some red flowers because she really liked the flowers that i was making and she brought red flowers for me and um, i'm going to create few more flowers just like the earlier method and i'm going to just cut the tissue paper 
and uh, trim the edges and uh, then zigzag the edges like so the steps here are pretty simple you just have to ensure that the papers are folded really nicely and the edges are cut nicely so that the uh, finishing of the flowers is really good I've made a quite a bunch of these carnation flowers in red color and uh, I wrapped them with the green color floral wire like so. You can create a bunch of these flowers in a variety of colors according to your choice and to style them you can just put them in some basket or maybe some flower vase and I think they are all good to go. They look really pretty and uh, they resemble quite a bit of carnation flowers. So once my flowers were done like so, I'm just going to style them by putting them in a hanging uh, basket or something like that. You can see how pretty they are looking with a little bit of added greenery. They are going to add a style statement and no one can say that these are not real flowers. They look so pretty and I'm just loving them. Moving on to the second element that I'm going to create is the birthstone of the month and for that I'm going to take resin. Yes, I'm just loving uh, using resin lately and to make um, the resin I'm just going to make the two parts of the resin that is the resin and the hardener in equal proportions. You need to check out your resin um, and the instructions. Some resin is um in the proportion 2 is to 1 and some comes in 1 is to 1 so mine is the 1 is to 1 so i'm going to mix the two portions and i added a little bit of red color because garnet comes in red color and i also added some red color glitter and i'm going to mix everything very nicely and very slowly and to avoid but bubbles i'm just going to tap the liquid a little bit and let it stand for around five minutes and then i have this poppet and i'm going to pour the liquid one by one into this you can take molds of your choice but i wanted to make little gems out of it so i think this was a very cute little mold that i had i also had this square mold with it but i only had one I let the resin dry in this poppet for around 24 hours and once it was dry and um, then I popped everything out and this is actually looking like real gems candy or M&M candies and I'm just going to pop everything nicely and this actually looks like some kind of gemstone. 
Before moving to DIY number 2, let me tell you that today I am participating in the What Month Is It Challenge and it is hosted by Tammy from Happiness Created. The guest host is Kiki from Kiki's DIY and the co-hosts for today are Brenda and Tiffany from the channel Morris Market and Brokal Aesthetics. All of them are amazing creators. I have linked all of their channels in the description box below. Do check them out and also the playlist for today. Moving on to the second DIY. For the second DIY, I am making a floral chandelier and for that I am going to use the carnation flowers and these gemstones that I have created out of resin, they do resemble garnet as because garnet, uh, the name of garnet is because it represents or resembles pomegranate and here you can see that I have taken a embroidery hoop and i'm just gluing the carnation flowers one by one to the sides along with using hot glue i'm also using the floral wire and i'm just going to twist it all around the embroidery hoop to secure it nicely and then i'm going to take this uh, silver um, string pearl string and I'm just going to uh, hang it in a U shape all around the uh, embroidery hoop and this is going to be the design of the chandelier the hanging portion of the chandelier with the same pearl string I'm going to make also the top hanging portion I just glued uh, the pearl string on both the sides so as they so as to that they are intersecting at the center and uh, they hang really nicely and I can just lift them up from the top and you can see that it is hanging like I also wanted to add some greenery to the chandelier so I'm just taking this wired a leafy uh, string and I'm going to just wrap it all around the embroidery hoop like so finally I glued the fox garnet that I made at the very bottom of the chandelier here you can see I just glued it to the floral um, the pearl string and this is how my floral chandelier looks I think it looks great you can put it in your garden or even at your dining space or any other space where you want to put a little bit of bling and shine so yeah this is how my second diy turned out let me know which out of the two styles was your favorite if you enjoy watching today's video do hit the like button and subscribe to my channel it helps my channel grow and also hit the notification button so that you are notified whenever i post a video thanks a lot for watching this video and i shall see you all very soon in the next diy till then bye bye and take care happy crafting